Steve Kovac has the latest right here at One Market. Um, what strikes me about these two names is that they had they're some of the biggest in the market, also the most resilient so far this year. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, but they are both facing slowing growth, Deirdre, through the end of the year. And that, those are the big headwinds facing Apple and Microsoft. For Apple, it's inflation, foreign exchange, and new COVID shutdowns in China all could put a damper on its growth. On the Microsoft side, it's foreign exchange and falling demand for PCs. In fact, Microsoft said demand is deteriorating. Both companies have tried to soften the blow, though, amid those headwinds, Deirdre. Let's start with Apple. Tim Cook told me last quarter Apple was going to be more, quote, deliberate in hiring. So that not a sl necessarily pausing or slowing down, just deliberate. Also reports of ending some contractors' employment and doling out less than expected for research and development. On the Microsoft side, they've actually had layoffs. In July, they laid off a less than 1% of their company. That's 180,000 employees in total. And just last week, Microsoft let another 1,000 employees go. Now, let's look forward. Apple needs to keep iPhone sales momentum through the end of the year to make up for these headwinds. Morgan Stanley analysts reporting App Store sales were down 2%. That's for services. And they're also going to be able to make up for it with new ads on the homepage of the App Store. Those start showing up tomorrow. And Microsoft needs to hope IT spending remains strong, especially among its biggest customers. If small and medium businesses start to cut, its Azure cloud growth, which has been flat to down in recent quarters, will be more than important forever. John, I'll send it back to you.